Hello and welcome to my let's play of Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. I've already played this game through once, so I'm hoping you won't have to watch me wandering around cluelessly too much. Uh, anyway, I really enjoyed the story in this game. It is a good story, as it should be really, since it's based off a classic book. Uh, the gameplay, however, lets the game down a little. We'll see more about that though once we've started the game. And speaking of, let's begin by clicking New Game. I hope my son's antics don't disturb you. Madam, were it in my power to sentence him to 30 days hard labor, they would not disturb me in the slightest. Smashing day for it. On holiday? No. Oh, Leslie. Uh, it isn't true. Oh, oh big pardon, ma'am. Miss. Yes, of course, yes. Have to be, wouldn't it? Damn fool. I suppose I'll be expected to tend to his wounds after he piles up, and I don't fear that. No one injured at least. No apparent damage to the cars. Young fool must lead a charmed life. That's the lot. My money's on the servants. The servants usually always the guilty one in the end. Welcome to Sticklehaven, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Davis, the Harbour Master. Sorry. Waiting for me. That's everyone, then. The other bags are already on board the boat there. Blimey. It must be him. In the flesh. All set, Nerakos. Ready, sir. Right. I'll leave it to you then. Seas calm. Should be a pleasant crossing. If you leave now, there's a squall coming. I can smell it. Why is it called Shipwreck Island? Well, the weather can turn nasty quickly. There are many submerged rocks, lots of wrecks hereabouts. And that big rock at the tip is said to resemble a beached schooner. The locals call it Ship Rock. You're not from around these parts, then, Mr. Naraka? No, sir, I'm not. It'll never work. If you would be so good as to follow that path up to the house, my wife will show you to your rooms. I expect you'd all like to freshen up after your journey. Where's Fred? Under the weather. I took his place. You'd be the brother then. I see the resemblance. Will you help me with the bags? Yes. I've been hoping to get a look at the house.
chapter one. Ten little sailor boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Narricot. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Oh, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse. Okay. Let's, first things first, let's go and check out our boat. Ah, what is this? Someone wrecked my boat. Fred won't be too happy about this. I take it it was Fred's boat. Okay, back to the house then. Now that we're stuck here. Ah, the butler guy is still just standing outside. Great. Mr. Narakot, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. Scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. But that means, who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Dear me, dear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. I must help my wife prepare dinner. I'll have her fix you up something in the kitchen. Thank you. Where he's going to sleep, I'll never know. Ethel won't like this one bit. Screw it, Ethel. I don't care. Just fix me up a nice bed. Anyway, we can go and investigate now. Find out who wrecked our boat first. And we'll just look around. We'll just check out all the rooms and locations. It's got power, but it still doesn't seem to be working. I remember when I played this the first time and I didn't even notice you could walk through this this section here. I couldn't find everybody and they were all in here. I just didn't notice it. Ah, what is this? I copied the contents into my notebook. This is the Ten Little Sailor Boys uh, poem. Actually, can I take this? There we go. What was it anyway? Matches? Yeah, box of matches. Ooh, a drink maybe. I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. Can't have that, but we can take the glasses. Your shot, Judge. Yes. You haven't left me much, I confess. I knew judges listened to confessions. I never knew they made them as well. Oh, some judges may have cause. Some doctors as well, I expect. Anyway, let's talk. Let's start by talking to the doctor. May I ask you a question? Not now, man. Can't you see we're busy? You're playing billiards, is it? Not really that busy. Let's try the judge. May I interrupt for a moment? I take it you don't play snooker, Mr. Narracott. Otherwise you'd know you should be as still as Lot's wife. Okay, maybe it's not billiards, but 
I'll tell you one thing, it's definitely not snooker. Uh, door, let's try the door. It's locked fast. Okay, I can't go that way. Hopefully I still remember how to find my way around this building. I'm going to go back over this way. There we go. I never, the first time I played it took me ages to find my way and memorise my way around the house. Oh, actually, I want to go back. I know there's a stick here I can pick up. Let's have a look at it. It's a walking stick with a bear's head handle. This should be the way to the dining room, I think. look in here. The centerpiece. Ten little sailor boys. Charming. Um I think there's nothing else in this room. At the moment at least. It'll never work, I tell you. We should never have agreed. A house party only a week after we arrive? And no other help? Ethel, calm yourself. You promised me. Never again, you said. How was I to know? Oh, ah, Mr. Narricot. Uh, Ethel will be preparing you a meal in here, once the guests are served. Did I interrupt some sort of awkward conversation there? Servants aren't very happy. Um, let's see. Uh, let's just try and talk to this guy. Can't remember his name now. Mr. Rogers, I was wondering if I might have a word. Perhaps you'd find one of the guests with more free time to chat. None of them are doing any work. His name is simply Mr. Rogers. I wonder if he has a first name. Ethel does. We already know that. I actually cannot remember his first name at all. I don't know if anybody refers to him by his first name once in this game. Let's collect some stuff here. A nice cloth. Um, that's just going to be all junk that we don't want. This was, was it flour? Oh no, we we've, we've, so far we've picked up the scoop. It's a full sack of flour. Can I use the scoop on the flour? Aha! Tell you what, just for fun, let's do it again. There are some batteries buried under here. Oh, well, would you look at that there? We found something. Um, he won't go outside, not in this weather. Let's see what other bits and pieces we have here. We've got this. This is a fruit press. It's a press. Looks like it can hold quite a large amount of fruit. Just some pots and pans. So we'll leave the kitchen now. Can't go in that door. Ah, I can go in here now. 